welcome back. Now, Chef Owen Klusky, bake them, grill them, fry them, <laughs> eat them. What are we having tonight? We're having waffles. Waffles! Yeah, yeah. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Yeah, a very, very simple waffle. Um, it's really great, though. It actually does. It's like breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's, it's appearing on brunch quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So, really simple. Make them at home. A little twist on this one here. I'm going to dress it a couple of different ways. I'm going to go a bit Canadian on it with some like nice thick cut bacon. We're going to use honey instead of maple syrup. Okay. Um, and we're going to use a little bit of like breadcrumb, a bit of waste bread that I had. So we've added it into the mix and it, it works a treat. Okay. Breadcrumb, okay. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. And it's very simple. The mix actually is really good for pancakes or waffles. So. Oh, okay. great. Same okay, yeah. use them for both. So really simply, we have our breadcrumbs. I put in some orange zest just to bring a bit of flavor. Um, great with, when you're making waffles, it's again, easy to add. You're controlling the sugar. So let's keep that when we're, when we're finishing. So we know we're not adding a load of sugar at the start and then finishing it at the end, heavy with sugar. Okay, so yeah. very simple, just like a little bit of vanilla sugar. And then we're gonna add the liquid. Milk, uh, oat milk can work for those who don't like the old dairy. Yeah. And all in, really, really simple. And the breadcrumbs give it bulk, I suppose, do they? Yeah, no, it just works exactly the same. It's really weird. So I actually made this because I had no flour in the house, believe it or not. Don't tell anyone that, a baker who has no flour. <laughs> um, and I was like, what would I do? I had some just ends of the sourdough, got them, blitzed them in, in a Thermomix, and uh, it was oh, really good. Go. Yeah, it came out great. So um, I just did it, and it just worked exactly the same. So it's great. Okay, so very... Very simple. Look, not even a light whisk. It's a, it's a loose batter, same as you would for your pancake. Yeah. Set that one aside. Have one here in the jug, ready to go. Preheat your, your waffle pan. Do you need pan. to let it set like you do for pancakes? You don't, it can go straight in. Great. Yeah, so I don't add butter at this stage. I was adding butter and getting some, it was sticking quite a bit. So very simply, look, pour in our batter. Hard to judge, in we go. And from that point there, I've found, well, just now I'll regret doing this. Wait, you see, I'll be like, okay, I'll we'll put too much mix happen. in. Yeah, this will be one that goes. And press down. Now from that point, two minutes here. There we go. Two minutes. Two minutes. This so. is for people who've got waffle makers. Yeah, obviously. waffle press, waffle maker. Um, you can get some sandwich makers that's just around, but no, a little, little waffle maker is good. Yeah. But oh. again, frying pan, hot frying pan, butter, in, exact same, exact same process. Okay. So two minutes here. Um, I have a couple that I did earlier on that I'm going to just dress up a little bit. So again, running through it, breadcrumbs. This is the little rye bread I had. Uh -huh. A little bit of bacon powder, some vanilla sugar. I used the zest of one orange. Yeah. Um, and I just have all my little bits ready to go. So it's really, really simple. Fabulous. Here. I've got a, a waffle maker that turns upside down. So it's Very a, fancy. Well, it's not that fancy. It was only a cheaper one. But you, you pour it in, yeah. flip it upside down, yeah. time it for a minute and a half, turn it back over, your waffles are ready. And it's, the, the, the handier thing about the waffles as opposed to pancakes is that you can just leave it, put the timer on and leave it. Oh, yeah, you but can. they have to be yeah. constantly watching pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. And waffles, like, a massive comeback. They're, like, everyone's eating waffles, you know? It's really, really good. And they're, they are, like, genuinely easy. And I mean that for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Simply with the first one we're going to do here, bacon. I like my bacon super crispy. Okay. Uh -huh. So I do crisp the bacon. I hate that bacon where it's a little bit not quite done. So bacon on. I love a rind. Rashers. Rashers. I love a rind. Rashers. Good bacon. O'Neill's Bacon Wexford. Really, really good. Again, reaching for the... Honey, decent honey, lots of it. This is Ollie Farms, absolutely delicious. So here we go. How would you is, look at I've that? been instructed to make five waffles, so we'll get them at three. <laughs> there you go. That's, you've been into, oh, I've just, gotten in, my, I've just gotten in my ear, 12. 12, 12. okay, we're gonna be 12. here a while. <laughs> <laughs> the gallery are making their demands. It looks this, like straight out of a film, doesn't it? It, it looks like an American diner yeah. sort of go. a thing. They were at her super, very, very much. That's so just powdered sugar. One. Just, yeah, ice and sugar, really decent. And come, lovely strawberries. Look, strawberries in season, grab them. And this one's for the kids, or for the big kids. This one's for you, all right? Perfect. There we go. So that's how they spread. You put it in the middle, and for, sorry, I know loads yeah, of people probably I'm gonna have Yeah, I'm going to show this one now in about three seconds. Lovely. Going to go with uh, sprinkles or hundreds and thousands? Hundreds and thousands, <laughs> my <laughs> friend. Oh, there you go. Let's keep it Irish. All over. And then we're going to push the boat out, a lovely bit of caramel. Oh, wow. So that's like a dessert one. This could be like your dessert one, yeah. I like caramel, so a bit overboard in that one there. Now, let's have a look, see what happens. So I'll pop it open. They've been on for like a minute and a half, two minutes. Not, enough not long enough. But we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're, we're getting, getting, there. getting there. Another 30 seconds. So this is number two. And three, we're going to go traditional. Very simple. Keep it plain. We're going to just ice and sugar. We might finish a tiny little bit of honey as well. Okay. So you, you, because. Ray always buys all this kit and we slag him about it continually because he uses it once and that's it. But you use the waffle maker all the time. 
I use all the kit all the no, time. No, you I don't. Stop lying to I me. Stop lying. <laughs> Divorce proceedings being initiated, initiated from at home. Uh, yeah, the waffle, the, it, that's the handy thing about it. It's like yeah, the weekends and whatever. Like, yeah. Yeah, and, really and the easy. kids are like, can we have pancakes? And I'm like, I'm too lazy to do pancakes, but I'll do you a waffle. I'll do you yeah. I'll do the waffle. So once yeah. you start, everyone wants a waffle. That's so, it. And you, you, throw them, you do one, one big uh, mix or batter or mix of batter. Here's a prime example of when you don't fill the waffle maker enough. But this is great. Look, knife in. All right, this is pretty good though. This was, yeah, it's good. It's, it's probably a little bit cold. We had flashing lights, a bit of power loss earlier on. Oh, oh we did. Yeah, you know, I don't know what that, what that, that was to do. So there we go. Look, right the straight out. Yeah. Hop on a plate. That's it though. A little bit of sugar. We have them with whipped cream sometimes and we whipped go for the Nutella cream. sometimes as well. Yeah. yeah, Nutella, yeah. It's right. a good one. I think like when you get a little bit more creative, like bacon, I would never really eat bacon on a waffle. And then when I had it, I was like, this is actually really good. Yeah. yeah. You know? And um, the strawberries again, a little bit of fruit to the kids. Hundred, I find with mine, if you put hundreds and thousands, they'll eat anything. Uh -huh. They'll go for it. Yeah, they'll go for have, it. And have you made savory ones? I, I saw yes. this week for potato, like like yeah, like the bird's eye ones. But you can actually make your own, like savory ones. Yeah, no, it's a it's a really good idea. It, it will appear at uh, Bread Forty One soon. Actually, I have an idea on it. Actually, a traditional waffle as a base for a, for a brunch dish. Oh, really? So, like maybe a little bit of fermented potato, put it on, and then just build off. And I think it'd be really cool because, like, at the end of the day, well, I know my childhood, I had a. Uh, Waffles. But yeah, we all did. Yeah. Waffles we did. did. And they're really good. Yeah, they are delicious. So last but not least, this one here, a little bit of honey. Again, when you're getting honey, guys, reach for a good one, a decent one. This is a really good guy. Ollie's Farm. So there we go. And there you have my Shout out to my on. cousin, Galti Honey Farms. How there are you, you doing go. there? Well, listen, <laughs> get some honey, honey up. Again, a little bit of icing sugar. Why not? For the moment, it's in it. Strawberry. That looks... Looks fabulous. You're Simple. Winner there. Absolutely beautiful. That looks good. Owen. Went on. Delicious. Going. Oh, he's going again. He's going again. To, I'll go delighted. again because after now I'll be looking for <laughs> your waffles. Absolutely you know? gorgeous. And That's, you know what? The waffles look pretty good as well. He was waiting to say that. That's <laughs> all we've got time for. <laughs>